This is Dabu7. We've had a game-changing event take place in Florida when it comes to survival and living. We had a Florida resident living off of the grid, independent of the city's water and electric system. This person was doing this for a while until all of a sudden the state comes along and says, hold on, there's no money being collected from this residence. Something's wrong here. So they pulled this into the court system, and a Florida court has ruled that this off-the-grid living is illegal. And they did this last week, and they have give, given this, this person named Robin until March to connect her home to the municipal water line or face possible eviction. Further, officials in the city of Cape Coral have justified this whole thing by stating that Robin's home is unsanitary, citing the International Property Maintenance Code. Now, this is ridiculous. This country has a U.S. Constitution, okay? And they're trying to state that an international code overrides that. Okay, this code mandating that homes must be connected to an electricity grid in a running water source. Now, this is even though most of the world lives without reliable electricity and municipal water and sewer. And that's a fact. Most of this world. They're not saying this to all the third world countries, are they? They're not too concerned about going in there and making sure they have water and electricity, are they? No. But they are here because it's all tied into their big money monopoly that they have set up. And that's what feeds the beast. You breaking away from this is doing everything that they're against. And I just want people to understand, specifically people in southern Florida that think they're going to run off into the woods and no one's going to bother them. Now they can just stroll up and say, hey, you can't be doing this. This is illegal. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's the case with a lot of these laws that are coming into effect. So all I know to do is to shed light on it, to let people know that it's going on, and hopefully people can continue to talk about it and talk about it enough to where it gets around and it starts putting a stop to things because as long as people stay in the dark, nothing's ever going to change. Half the time, when people know about stuff, things don't even change. So, putting this in the hands of those that care. I'll leave a link. Peace.